Hi everyone! In this Mission to Mars video, we're going to be talking about the first step in developing a mission to Mars, and that's learning about Mars. Joining us today to help us understand this step is Dr. Mujigay Cooper, the Planetary Protection Lead on the Mars 2020 mission. Hi! Thanks for having me! Thanks for joining us, Moo. Before we get started, can you tell us what does a planetary protection engineer do? A planetary protection engineer, their, their job is to make sure that the spacecraft, as we put it together, that it stays extremely clean so that when we do eventually make the journey to Mars, it cannot contaminate that particular environment. Every time we put hardware together, we're there with a swab or a wipe, taking samples to make sure it's still clean. One thing I'd like to know, and I think students would as well, is what are some of the important questions we have to ask when we're exploring someplace new? Yeah, the, the key questions you really need to ask is the basics, right? What is the temperature of the place that you're trying to explore? What is the pressure? Uh, what does the environment look like? Because if you're trying to design an instrument that will travel and work and operate in that environment, you have to make sure it can withstand all of those environmental factors. For example, the surface of Mars is just filled with dust. So you have to make sure you design all of your instruments in a way that can survive those basic fundamental environments. When some people hear the word instruments, they think of musical instruments. When you say instruments, what do you mean by that? Yeah, an instrument is the, the thing that you send there, a device that is going to either look for um, various environmental factors. If you have an instrument that's supposed to measure the temperature and the weather environments, it'll tell you it is this many degrees outside or the wind is blowing this strong and in this direction. So these instruments are just devices that will help sense the environment or sense what, whatever you're trying to understand. Mars is so far away, so how do scientists learn about Mars? There are different devices, there are orbiters, for example, that orbit around Mars to give us a really good understanding of, of what we're coming across and what are some good questions and devices, these tools, to bring with you. What are some things that we still don't know about Mars, and what are questions you have that you want answered about Mars? Yeah, my favorite thing when anybody asks me this question, the thing that I want to know the most is, is there life that used to exist somewhere else in our solar system? We only have one really good point of reference for life in the entire universe, and that's Earth. So if we were to go to Mars and find signs of ancient life, that means that at some point in the past, back when Mars was wet and habitable, that there was life possibly on, on that planet. So that's the thing that really excites me the most is, could we find another, another data point in there in the solar system? Did life exist somewhere else? Well, it sounds like that even though we've been visiting Mars for several decades, there's still a lot for us to learn. For sure, yes, and we need all of your you, all of your help out there, everyone who's watching this. If you are interested in exploring different environments, we can always use your brains to help help answer these questions. Thank you so much for joining us today, Moo. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us about learning about Mars, the first step in designing a mission to Mars. Awesome, thanks. Thanks for having me and explore responsibly. Now that we've heard why this step is important, you're ready to learn about Mars. Stay tuned for the next step in developing a mission to Mars, planning your mission. <laughs>